Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love read. This is for, let's see, it's January 16th through the 22nd, I believe, or is it 21st? Nope, 22nd, 16th through the 22nd. However, time is fluid. So whatever it shows up on your doorstep, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you, okay? If this does resonate, please hit the thumbs up, okay? Please like this. It does a lot for the channel, as well as, you know, it always helps when you subscribe. You're able to see when I am doing readings, okay? I am intuitive. For those that are new, welcome. You may not always find that... Sorry, I need to reach my little crystal here. Put my little intentions there, okay? Uh, I may not always read what comes out on the cards traditionally because I am taking the guidance of spirit, okay? If you want a personal reading or if you want to find the extended, all of that information is down below in the description box, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Okay, I always start by pulling cards for the collective just so that if the rest of the reading isn't for you, you're getting a message from spirit, okay? So today you get create and grounding. Okay, so I do feel like Aquarius, you are walking forward on a new energy here, okay? Um, perhaps starting a new job, um, perhaps just new year, new you sort of an energy, but you are really in this creative like thought sort of process, but you're staying grounded, okay? So let me give you the channeled messages. Today, your energy is centered, grounded, and focused, and calling for any support you can give to really ground and connect with the earth. Be one with the earth and be one with your body. Create. Creativity takes courage, but now is your time to create. Creativity flows through every cell in your body today. Allow your creative energies to flow freely at all times. So again, I do feel like, you know, you are trying to stay grounded. Head outside, go into, you know, nature, take a walk, clear your hair, clear your hair. Hmm. Cause I was going to say clear your head and it was coming out clear of your air, right? Which is swords, but clear your hair. Maybe somebody is getting ready to color their hair. Cause I'm licensed cosmetologist. I know I'm a multi-passionista. Um, but I'm a licensed cosmetologist, used to own a salon a million years ago, but um, maybe you're getting ready to color your hair and spirit is saying, make sure you clear out the old color before you put the new color in because you're going to end up with a mess. Okay, that's for someone very specific. Okay, so intention for the reading here. Whatever it is that you're creating, you are staying in isolation. This is very much five of pentacles sort of energy, okay? But there's a little bit of a thawing going on here, okay? Why? Because you're transforming, because um, you're addressing things, you're addressing the issues that you have within you, within this connection. Um, and some of what's coming up to you may even be a big surprise, okay? Overall energy here with the five of pentacles. So you are at a distance from this person, um, whether it's just emotionally distanced or physically distanced, okay? Now, I do feel like in the past, whatever kind of broke this, five of swords in reverse, like you addressed it, okay? You did address it. Um, and maybe this has been a repeating cycle for you. And so you addressed it and you're trying to change your cycles, okay? Current energy is that there is a balance coming here, okay? I feel like 
It's what you're working on that's going to create the balance. Future energy, though, is still more work, okay? Welcome to 2021. 2021 is definitely the year where we are like, everything we did in 2020 is coming back around again. All of those lessons, but this time we have the hindsight, okay? This time we have the knowledge to be able to um, create different possibilities. Okay. You're ready to come back to this person as soon as you feel the balance, okay? And that's what's about to happen here. I feel like you've been asking for guidance, asking for support, feeling very strong in the changes that you're making, I feel like, within yourself. Yeah, in the past, you did kind of just tend to go along with things, no matter how you felt. All right. And not allow your voice to be heard. Okay. But I feel like spirit stepped in. Okay. And you had to work through an energy of coming into a, to that grounded space and that strong energy within. And I feel like you did start turning the page and recalibrating, you know, those old paradigms, those old beliefs that you had as you kind of walked forward into this. Yeah, you're not really, okay, you're feeling the balance but you're not really fighting for this. Okay, seven of wands in reverse with the devil. You know you still have a lot of wounding that you have to work on. I almost feel like this balance is the knowing that you love this person, that you care about this person. Or for some of you that are not in a relationship right now, this is you finding the balance within yourself of your divine feminine, divine masculine, and understanding that you still have work to do. You still have work to do, and you're okay dealing with the wounding for right now while you're waiting for something else to come in. I see. I do feel like whether you have someone that you love in your life or not, this future energy, and remember, roles can be reversed. You're putting this on hold. You're putting your soulmate on hold, okay? Because you are working through a lot. This week, you have a lot of stuff coming up, and it's moving into that future energy, and you're really working through, like, what makes me feel stuck in place? What makes me feel, you know, like I'm not enough? What makes me feel like I'm unlovable? You're working through a ton, okay? Let's go ahead and get another round of clarification. I feel like someone here, and I do feel like it's you, okay? Definitely reverse the roles if this is your person I'm talking about, okay? In the past, I feel like you were very blunt and to the point, okay? And very resistant to anything that wasn't like the choice that you had made. And what this created was it created... Um, you know, a lot of heartbreak and a lot of emotional detachment, okay? And overthinking about the emotions of the situation. 
Yeah, okay. You walked away from that old pattern. And whoever you're dealing with or whoever's coming in, okay, you're going to treat this differently. But again, there's still a little bit of work here that you're going to have to do in this situation to, you know, come into a real partnership. Yeah, okay. You, when you started walking away from things in the past, there was still a lot really tied up within you that you were having to unwind. Like, I feel like, okay, you have never been taught how to, how to love with that pure heart intention. Like there was a lot of, I feel like maybe a lot of passionate anger and um, energy within your home as a child. And so you're either very passionate or you are completely shut down. Okay, and I feel like that drove this person away from you, whether emotionally or not, because they wanted more than that ragey passion. They wanted the intimacy. Okay, bottom of the deck. You would not open up that intimacy. And that right there is that pre-tower energy. So I do feel like that's a lot of the tower work. And that's why we have, okay, that's why the intention, that's why the intention is here with the tower, okay? This isolation with the tower is about opening up to the intimate being within you, okay? The ability to be vulnerable and open in that heart space. Yeah, currently, okay, spirit is helping you soften this. Okay, spirit is helping you to soften this old pattern. Yeah, okay, to understand your heart. And um, it's opening up different paths for you. Okay, this is divine timing for all of this to be happening. Okay, you're coming into a higher level. As you release this old pattern of love, Hierophant, Two of Cups, okay? And taking and working and bringing your path forward, okay? It's not going to happen overnight, but you're learning and growing and opening up. Okay, yeah. There is a lot to break down for you here in the future. Okay, a lot of old childhood wounds. Okay, but I feel like this person that is either coming to you or that is your person that's opening up to you, okay, they're going to be open with you when you are taking the passionate action, I feel like, instead of the emotional, because they want you to come in emotional, okay? They feel like that's how you guys create this new partnership, this new beginning, So let's go ahead and pull some cards from the universe. Yeah, this is a huge rebirth for you. This is like your bottom of the deck here, right, is the heart, okay? You're healing like generations of wounds here and patterns that are going to bring you to such a higher ascension of love and connection and partnership, okay? Yeah, softening the way that you kind of attack, all right? Um, rather than love and come into alignment. As you come into alignment, all the stability, all of the partnership, all of the connection comes in as well. 
okay? Pull an oracle card for you. Yeah, you have an awareness, okay, that you're learning. As you're learning, you're moving further away from where you were, but you're moving closer to where you want to be. And I feel like it's moving beyond the reactive site, okay, and moving into the responsive, intuitive site. All right, so I'm going to move into the extended, see what your person wants to um, show up and share. Um, as well, I am going to um, kind of clarify, like, what's coming in for you? What are the intentions? And um, see where all of that plays out in all of this. That is over on Patreon, and um, the link is down below. All right. Much love, guys. Bye. Okay. So, Aquarius, let's get into this extended. All right. Now, remember, after the extended, if you are in the Spiritual Mastery Program, you will get the... <laughs> Someone needed to hear that. Did you see that shift? Um, you will get the... Um, today's Current Energy Read which is a you versus them reading. <laughs> Somebody's like, ooh. You will get the um, extended reading, but you'll also get the spiritual mastery where I'm going to dig into, like, what is the blockage here with you? What are you learning? What are you growing from here within the energy of opening up your heart and being emotionally connected and vulnerable and intimate? Okay, so let's see, though, what is going on here with this person or the energy coming towards you, okay? Okay, this is, again... Very divine timing right now, okay, for aligning your chakras, opening up those active centers, really connecting with, um, I feel like, the balance of divine feminine, divine masculine within you, and what that means to you as a whole being, okay? Because the overview energy is that two of cups that we saw twice in the initial reading, so I do feel like, okay, we're talking about a soulmate here, whether you are in a connection with them right now or whether this is someone that's coming towards you, 